Welcome back to Talk of the Town. I'm here today with Todd Smith. He is the director of Hilton Head Island's high school band. And the band was out of commission for about three years, Todd, and you've now basically revitalized it. Well, yes, the marching band ended about three years ago just due to organizational difficulties and keeping everything going and the interest alive. But now this year, we're trying to bring the marching band back and make it a part of the entire band program as well. And I think a band is a really strong component of a high school. Do you not agree? Oh, I agree, definitely. It can just it can also showcase the band students, but also in the community, showcase the high school, and become a part of the entire high school environment. What is your background, like your, I guess, your education, your training, and, and some of your experiences? Well, I started out in a place called Mount Pleasant, right outside of, right outside of Charleston, South Carolina, where I joined middle school band just like everybody else. I had a really great experience. Decided to be a part of the high school band, and once I really hit the high school, I became very, very serious about it. Began practicing and exploring a lot of opportunities, uh, performing and also social with making friends I still carry today. And just having that experience really propelled me into my degree programs at University of South Carolina. I originally entered as a trumpet performance major, and going through that entire year performing and playing, I really found out that my, my true passion was to teach. So I switched to a music education major, finished at University of South Carolina in 2008, and I attended the University of Illinois for a master's in music program. I finished there actually in, in just one year, and after that I just have been going from certain positions, and now I'm at Hilton Head Island High School, and I couldn't be happier. Well, what made you choose Hilton Head, not like there's any other choice, but what made you choose Hilton Head Island High School? Well, I was very busy this summer with interviews and looking at a, a bunch of places. However, the choice came down to another school in Hilton Head Island High School, and when the choice came up, I saw a, a school that I felt like really needed somebody to come in who really had something not only to prove, because I consider myself still young in the profession and I still want to show people what I can do with a bunch of students but I was also told that there's a good bunch of kids here they have good attitudes they're respectful and they also want to be challenged they want to advance forward and that's all I needed to hear that's great as far as these kids joining the band do they have to have musical background do they have to have their own instruments or is that all provided by the school and you can do training or does it help to have a little bit of background for them. Well, of course it helps to have a little bit of background to join band, but it definitely is not required. Most high school band students start out in the middle school band. They'll join in sixth grade and have instruction throughout the middle school level. And then when it comes time to enter high school, they can become part of the high school band. While it's more demanding with marching band, concert band, jazz band, uh, after school rehearsals that seem more strenuous than, than the middle school level, uh, it just requires a good attitude, wanting to be a part of something great. And also, if you need an instrument, we'll provide it for you. If you need help, I'll always be there to find. If I can't help you, i find someone that will. And I think just being a part of the band is just having a, a need and a want to make music and be with people that have the same goals as well. As far as goals for the band, I guess present and then hopefully future, what, what do you see the band accomplishing um, you know, now and then over the years? Well, as of right now, the concert band has been a mainstay of their program, which is considered being the concert hall and on the stage. And I want to make sure that tradition stays alive just as strong as it has been. This past year, before I arrived at the school, they received a superior at the, the South Carolina Concert Festival, which is the highest rating you can receive. I believe it was the first one in the school's history. And that is the main goal. I want to keep that alive, as well as upping the standard, uh, raising the level of music that they play, as well as keeping that same superior rating at the, the state level. Also, there's a jazz band that we have, which we're actually starting today. And we want to have the jazz band play a lot, play around town, be part of concerts, and have that be a, a part the, of the program that develops, as well as the concert program. And it's something that I'm really working on right now, of course, is the marching band aspect of everything. We actually had a, a band camp where we had kids outside a week before school learning how to march, marching fundamentals, rehearsing music, and also giving a performance at the end of the week. So by enriching the marching part of our program, I think we can have a full comprehensive program where we play on the concert stage, where we play jazz and more popular music out in the community, and also have the marching band not only at football games and parades, but also visible at the high school and in the community as well. Well, I think it's wonderful, and as far as um, you, you touched a little bit on this, do you think that you will have, um, I guess, 
local performances that will be open to the public for you know any of us to come see and and how do you think you'll you'll accomplish that well as of right now we have the high school marching band at all the home football games we just performed at Bluffton this past week and it was very very well very nice to see Bluffton's band doing very well as well and we'll also be hopefully performing on the field as the time comes once we put drill down and have put music to it as well and also we have the concert band performing concerts throughout the year there's a winter concert there's also a spring concert and if uh, all goes well we should have another concert somewhere around the March area as we prepare prepare for the state state concert festival also the jazz band as of right now will be playing at the the Concord car show coming up soon and we will also hopefully be putting the jazz band out more in the community as well so that'll be to, to be determined as of right now that's terrific and it, and with um, how do people actually find out about where maybe where you're you're performing at or how do they contact or I guess how do they view the the maybe the itinerary well one thing you can do to view us is go to our website which is www.hhihsbands.tk you can see about our staff our concert schedule what kind of ensembles we have also a bunch of helpful links for uh, musicians and also contact information for the band program. You can also see our fundraisers that we're holding and where we're asking the community for help and getting them involved in not only exposing the, the band students to the community, but having uh, that sort of backing and that sense of uh, help coming from outside sources as well. Well, congratulations and obviously good luck. And I hope uh, the band has much, much success. And uh, as you have uh, continued performances um, open to the public. Please come back and tell us about them. Oh, I will. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, Todd, thanks for being with me today. Thank you. And you come back and join us with Talk of the Town in just a minute.